Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project flight ticket booking system and I have developed this project in PHP and MySQL and uh, for running this project I am using the XAMPP server also you can configure this project easily on the VAMP server or if you are running the Linux environment operating system then you can configure this project on the LAMP stack or the if you are using the Mac then you can run this project on the MAMP server so this project is compatible with all of the operating system versions <laughs> also I am using the latest version for now that is the PHP version 7 and the P MySQL version is 5.6 for running this project so you can uh, configure this project on PHP version 7 and MySQL version 5.6 so it means latest jamp and wam server will support this project <laughs> for front end technology i am using the html css and javascript and some of the jquery library such as you are seeing the slider on the home page so this is a slider window uh, slider and which i have created from the jquery script also uh, for form validations i am using the javascript sorry jquery validation plugin and for date i am also using the dates such as you can see it here then this is the jquery calendar one more thing the more uh, interesting thing in this project is the email so i have integrated the email in this project so if you book the ticket means if customer books the ticket then customer will get the copy of the ticket on his or her email id the this is the main feature of this project means email has been integrated inside this project and customer will be able to get the copy of the ticket on his email id okay so this is the main feature of the project and the type this project is a major project and i have developed two type of roles in this project the first one is the admin role and the second one is the customer role means customer can perform a set of operations and admin can perform the second set of operations right means customer have the limited rights but admin have the full rights to operate this project so let's start with the functionality so this is the home page of the project so you can see there is a booking section here right so uh, from where customer will be able to search the ticket these are these all are the airlines company and which i have added into the database so if you want to add more airlines company then it will be rendered just below it means this is a totally dynamic page the things are coming from database this airlines companies are coming from the database right so if you want to search any of the ticket then you can search it from here right so if you want to book the ticket of 26th and four adults three childs and two infants premium and once you click on the submit then you will be able to get the list of the tickets right one there is a one more restriction in, in this project without login you can't be able to book the ticket so once you click on the book then it will ask for your login details so it 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 is mandatory for login inside the system if you don't have the login then just click on the register after that you will be able to log inside the system right okay so this is the about us page so this is the static page and if you want to change the content of the page then you can change it directly from the html this is the book ticket so there are two booking form i have provided one it's available on the home page and second is available on the book ticket page right so you can also search the ticket from here this is the registration page from where customer will be able to register if customer doesn't have the user id and password then customer will not be able to book the ticket this is the login from where admin and customer both will log in means this is a role based system according to the user credentials the internal functionality will be changed okay this is the contact us page so this is the static contact us page and i am not saving the data of this contact us page anywhere in the database so let's start with the booking process so i'm going to book a ticket that is the delhi to gear right and then for 26th i am booking the ticket for two adults 
two childs and one infant and i'm looking for the premium section once you click on that then you can choose uh, your airlines here this is the book now so it's asking for the customer details i'm logging as an admin after that it will be redacted to the booking page so this is the book your ticket page so i am entering the details here right so once you uh, click on the make payment and if your payment successfully then you will get the details on your email id means i will show you so okay. so i am entering all of the details right and then so you have filled the details right and once you click on the continue payment then you will get the sample payment gateway page so this is not a real payment gateway this is a sample payment gateway and none of the transaction will done and i will not save the data so the total amounts have been calculated and you cannot modify it right because it's a read only field so i am entering the card details right and if you click on the make payment then so let me show you currently i don't have any email id email for the ticket i have so i have deleted it also right so once you click on the make payment then it will send an email to your email id also okay so the booking reference number is eight and you can see i got an email that is this one your booking reference at is eight and you can see all of the details here right so this you this is the email which i have configured and you will get the email on your registered email id right so this is the main feature of the project so if once you with the ticket then you will get the email on your email id so i have used the php mailer in this for configuring the smtp so it's the smtp details which i am using and uh, uh, the mail will not go inside the spam because i am using the secure tls layer email protocol over the smtp so this email will not be bounced also this will not go inside your uh, spam mail also okay so i have configured this functionality in this project okay so this is the ticket and this same ticket you will got on your email id which i have shown this here right so this is the booking and if you want to print the ticket just click on the print and after that a print window will open and after that you can print the ticket okay so let's show you again so after login the customer the above menu has been changed and if i log out from the system the above menu has been changed so then the above menu is the session based menu right so i am logging inside the system as a customer and if i click on the my bookings then you will be able to see all of your previous bookings so you can see this is my previous bookings and if you click on the view details then you will be able to see the previous booking details this is a my account section from where a customer will be able to uh, update update his account details right means email id name a customer will be able to update the things from here this is the change password from where customer will be able to change his password and the logout section now i am going to log in inside the system right so this is the admin part so you can see the above menu has been changed again and this is the add new system administrator so admin can add more admins and from this form and then the add new customer from where admin can add also the customer means customer registration can also be done by the admin this is the add new airline so if you want to add more airlines then you can add it from here right so this is the add new route route means if a uh, airlines if an airline is providing the service between city 1 to city 2 to city 3 then you will be able to add the route okay that airline will go from 
CT1 to CT2 and then CT2 to CT3. This is the root section, right? Then airlines and the from CT2 to CT departure time, arrival time, economy fair and business fair. This one, the add new route, and this is the airline company. So you will add the you will be able to add the airlines company from here and those airline company which will be added here will also be displayed here on the home page this is the system report system user report from where currently i am only the system user inside the project then there is only one but you can add many this is a customer report so there are three customers which we have registered and if you click on the edit then you will be able to edit the miss admin will be able to edit the customer details and this is the airlines report so all the airlines will be displayed here this is the route report right means all the airlines route which has been added will be displayed here so if route will be available here then you will be able to find out the airlines from that route this is the re report company so from where you will be able to see all of the added uh, airlines company and the report booking admin will be able to see bookings of the all customers and also he will be able to see the details this is the my account section from where customer will be sorry admin will be able to update his account details and the chase password section from where admin will be able to change his password and the logout section okay so once you log out then none of the internal piece will be accessed so this is the main uh, this is the overall project feature which i have developed in the flight ticket booking system so the main feature i have implemented in this project is the email integration and on the booking of your ticket you will get an email copy of your ticket right so uh, if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes in this project and i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements okay and thanks for watching the video and if you need more project video updates on your email id just subscribe our channel thanks for watching the video thank you very much